Welcome back! Back with Firewatch. Right now I'm fixing my fucked up window. That someone smashed. Oh wait, hold on. Hey, and... Yeah. Um... What do you look like? Why are you asking? Because I'm horribly superficial. I could be Tom Cruise's good-looking twin brother. Oh, that's too bad. I read in People he's like five foot nothing. Yeah, well, you can't win them all. Okay, well, that gives me a good start. Now let's see. In my scope, I can only tell you're a white guy wearing shorts. It's hot. And maybe, by the way, I'm not white. It's not very, uh, you know, PC or whatever they say. Was... Oh my god, you are the whitest man. Wow. <laughs> I don't need a spotting scope Was PC, for that. Uh, shorts, then what do you normally a like term in the 80s? Uh, I don't know. I like to look nice, usually. Well, I try now, I guess. Hmm. Had a bit of a schlubby period, did we? Yeah, a good 25, 30 years, yeah. But um, now you'll put on a, a clean shirt? Yeah, well, I, I have one that I got for Christmas, actually. Just, um, it's navy with white buttons, but I, I like it. I don't wear it that much, though. Well, it sounds just perfect. Now tell me about your face. I'm looking at you across the bar. What do I see? Uh, hmm. A well, uh, pretty thick beard. Oh. Have you always had a beard? For a while, yeah. All right. Perfect. I want to know about your eyes. Get out of here. I'm drawing you. I need to know. Your what? Is is that okay? Uh. Don't don't answer. I'm gonna do it regardless. Fine. Your eyes. Tell me. Uh, they're happy. I think. I mean, I've been told they look. Hector Reynolds. Julia told you that, huh? Look, I don't know how to describe eyes. Happy is good. That's good. Okay, got it. Thank you, Henry. You get what you need? Absolutely. Turt Reynolds is coming for the trip, baby. There we go. Now Turner Rollins has a baseball to play with. Alright, time to fix that window. It's getting a little drafty.
I got that window all patched up. So what should I do now? What's next? What's next? What do you think is next? Well, you've been the one giving me tasks for two days straight. What's next is you sit in that room until September 1st and call me at the first sign of smoke. Oh, yeah. Why don't you let me know when you're mentally prepared for that task and uh, I'll give it to you. Oh, wait. Can I explore? Question mark? I want to get that raptor claw. I got my fossilized claw. frames are just taking a dip I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. Of course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. You know, it's not really that comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. Aww. 
Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. <sighs> Day nine. It's been like one week since anything major has happened. Too bad. I could get used to it out here. The That's fuck nice. am I even at? Look, um, I called with bad news. Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. I yelled at him, but that's it. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if, if they turn up dead, then maybe. Should I just not say anything and save us the trouble? I... I think it's worth mentioning something. Yeah. I'll, uh... I'll, I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. Me neither. All right, Henry, thanks. Enjoy the sunset. Day 15. <sighs> what, another six days? Not a whole lot. Another bottle, another week. days whole lot of nothing is it too much of a pain in the ass to bring supplies all the way up to our towers well I get my stuff hand delivered Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. You're out hiking in 90 degree heat and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there and I don't want to have to call in for more. There should be loads of good stuff though. Beans, prunes, jerky. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. So, like, two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night? You were sleeping, I guess, and 
All I heard was the name Jules through the mumbles. I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. I am. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy, Javier. Oh, he's incredible, caring, sexy as hell. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. Damn. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School, and I was obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And for some reason, I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came out here. I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. I've just lied about it for over ten years. And, uh, for some reason, I wanted you to know. Damn. Uh, I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Who do you think I am? Pretty something days. Oh no. You've got a front row seat for what might be Shit. the biggest fire of the year. Yeah, it's really going. I'm gonna call it in. They'll send in a hot shot crew for some suppression, but Shit rounds in here, I will be stuck with her for the rest of the summer. And she doesn't have a name yet. I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them. But why don't you do the honors? Mm. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a fire so, in the distance. No ideas, huh? Hmm. Uh, maybe we call it the Flapjack Fire. Can you sell that as a name? You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack Fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. So there's this creek down the hill, and, um... You know what my favorite thing to do is? What's that? I love to take a bottle of whatever I have on hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot, I have something nice and cool to drink. I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. He would like it there. I'm sure I would. Sounds pretty great. It is. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. You should. Let me know when you are. Okay, I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I'm glad you're here. Me too. Good. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you. Not in the same way. I know it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. <laughs> I don't mean to get all heavy, but... It's been really nice. 
I wish I was over there. I wish you were too. We could sit outside. We could talk. Without these radios, we could, um... You know... What? What could we do? Dun, 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 dun. What could we do? But Henry, you're a married man. Well, I guess. Kind of, you are. He just has Alzheimer's. Wrong day. 76. Day 76. You're going fishing without a license? It's one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. No, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you search around the lake for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Huh. Problem bear? Fuck that. I am of the opinion that they are all problems. Come on, please. Fuck no. Just bears will eat you. I can't believe I'm gonna leave this planet as a pile of bear shit. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fishing pole clearly went through that lock. No, no, not the pole, damn it. Can I not? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the, uh, D? I found a clipboard down here and I, uh, there's something strange going on. I don't talk on. to like the same thing for... What's up? Feelings for so Henry, maybe down. just what drunk. What we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Let's see. Uh, I don't talk to Hi, for July. Fireworks are hot all night. Way. Would you kill Paul McCartney to bring back Jimi Hendrix? Absolutely. Me too. Me three. Wait, What's your favorite music? Henry. I'm worried. Just. You just didn't find and eat any mushrooms, did you? I mean, they can be fun, but also, you know, devastating. I found a walkie-talkie out here, too. Uh, okay. It's going shit house. We'll get it if you haven't already, and then we'll figure out whose it is. <coughs> oh, shit. Damn! Fucking caved his head in. Henry? Are you there? What happened, Henry? I Fuck. I just, I got hit in the head. Punched or something by someone. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with, what, transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone, along with a radio of theirs. You know, somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. <sighs> <sighs> I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's Wapiti Station? I, 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 I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's it's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll uh, I'll start hiking that way now. God, 
Damn it, my head. I'm hiking through the canyon. Which way is my best bet for getting to Wapiti Meadow? It looks like you can find a trail on the north shore of Jonesy Lake, towards the west. Thanks, D. Damn, dude. That'd be scary, though. Get fucking knocked out in the middle of the woods. Oof. Should we call the cops or the forest service and, and let them know this is going on? Um, don't you think that would sound, you know, crazy? Yeah, it is crazy. We have to tell someone. Tell them what, Henry? Tell them we're being stalked and you were attacked and we don't have any proof? I don't know. Tell them we're being bothered or something. Henry... I really like this job, okay? And if I give off even a hint of cuckoo to my bosses, they are never gonna let me come back out here. Do you understand that? Wow. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what well, you just said, keep my radio close to me. Yeah? Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground. Kind of like the one I used. And? Do you think that maybe someone was, you know, uh... I don't know. What? Maybe intercepting our frequency with other radios or something. Henry... It's just a thought. I, I don't Shit. even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, God damn, I'm not. I gotta go okay, back, I think. Let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Damn, that was the wrong fucking way. Oh, here we go. Okay, I think we're on the right trail now. Whoa, Delilah, there's a big chain-link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. But what the fuck is going on out here? Looks like goddamn Area 51. Maybe they've got aliens. That'd be exciting. Yeah, we'll see about that. And what are the odds they left the gate unlocked? Pretty low, I'd imagine. Okay, um, I've, I've given it the good college try, uh, no doubts. Oh, shit. I, I don't know how long... You I might be able to climb over that. Notices. God, 
If you were an actual firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Nope, can't climb up that. Okay. So we gotta go back up the shale slide. I'm wandering around east of the lake. Which way is Ruby River? It's in the southeast corner of your map. The scout camp where the firefighters were staged should be on your map. It looks like a little triangle with a flat bottom. Yeah, it looks like a tent. How did I never see that before? All right, so just a little farther. Stuck on a rock. Bam. I'm an Olympian. I know we don't know what's going on yet, but I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the Goodwins. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. Hey, maybe he'd actually enjoy it. You know, spies taking notes, walkie-talkies. The whole thing might actually be fun if you're too young to realize how creepy it is. That's one way of looking at it. He's fine, D. It, it was three years ago. He's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Ugh, are you serious? 
Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. I think my, I'm having some controller drift. Hold on. Okay, I think it's 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 good now. Snowmobile. There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I and mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but... Given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Pork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. Uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. <laughs> Did you take it, Delilah? Aw, oh, damn it, it's happening again. Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. It's something about men organizing boys around their ideals. Never sat right with me. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm going to walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Good plan. Scouts? No, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's Brian Goodwin. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Important, but I guess it's just the way the, sh the uh, color is. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they were sitting around before getting picked up. Damn. Hey, D, they left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. Hmm. Uh, next few days. Dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Dr. Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station? Holy crap. Keep reading. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would meet someone who'd give me a taste of my own medicine. They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that... That, that we don't know about? What are they researching? Us. They're researching us. You... 
You think they're studying you and me? I do, yeah. I mean, maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, if you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do. Yeah, that's what I think. Well, fuck that. Agreed. I think we should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... God, if you saw what you said you did... Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? I'm gonna do a scan for supplies and then figure out a way to get back over that ravine and hike towards the site. Sounds good. Check in when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Uh, I found an axe. If one of the crew left it, that thing is actually called a Pulaski. It looks like an axe to me. This thing will be a huge help. For both getting through the backcountry and Pulaski. getting through the fence. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm chopping, I'm chopping, I'm chopping the trees. I'm lucky that it's the exact same length to go over that ravine. Are you there? I, I had a thought. Let's hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yeah. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Just on my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. <laughs> Did you just cough? No. no. Did you just cough? Fuck. Fuck. Um, there isn't any way someone, like, another lookout could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I will call you. Whoa.